Hey guys, Google is working on new OS aside of Android and Chrome OS, that is Fuchsia OS. So in this video we are going to have an early sneak peek of Fuchsia OS. This is Vivek and let's get started. So this is the first look at Fuchsia OS. Yeah, of course, it's not a full-fledged OS, but it is the rough idea on how the OS interface would look like. So before moving on, what does Fuchsia actually means? Here is the interesting fact. Fuchsia is the mixed color of pink and purple. And Fuchsia OS is named after the flower called Fuchsia, which is the flower having pink and purple. So it is the blended form of Android and Chrome OS. Interesting thing about Fuchsia OS is that it drops Linux kernel and uses Google's own kernel that is Magenta. It also uses Google's Flutter SDK which allows for cross-app development. So that means one day we might be able to use one app that works on Android, iPhones and any other phones. As Fuchsia is an operating system but what I am gonna show you is that its UI which is called Armadillo. So basically home screen is a vertical scrolling list of app which looks pretty minimalist and smooth as you can see. At the base there is a profile card which displays time and location. When you click on the profile card you will get detailed preview where you can toggle brightness and volume with more other options. As you swipe off from the bottom you will be prompted with a list of suggestions. And you can also tap on where it says ask for anything and bring up Armadillo keyboard which looks kinda similar to Gboard but lacks features like gesture typing and double tapping on spacebar for auto punctuation. Back on the home screen all the app displayed are placeholder but you can also open them up and close them by tapping on the little dot which acts as home button. But what is interesting is that you can open multiple apps like split screen in Android. But even at this preview it looks quite smooth and better than any other OS. You can press and hold and drag up to another app and create split screen and run multiple apps. So even in such an early build it's really impressive and amazing to see that how well it works. Let's see what will Google do for this further improvement. Okay guys that was it for this video, if you enjoyed watching this video then don't forget to smash that like button and for the further interesting content stay subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video.